two change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And he struck him out, so he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and striding toward the plate next will be Adalberto Mondesi. He's set, and the pitch. Swinging a blooper to the right side. Here comes Dickerson. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. Eight, nine, and top of the order coming up to start the seventh. It's now a 5-3 ball game. Ready now is Corey Dickerson. He's got an RBI despite an 0 for 2 effort to this point. Corey Dickerson. And now the first pitch. A bouncer up the middle. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. Hey, they've obviously locked in on something here. They know this pitcher back. likes to get ahead, and they've done nothing but be aggressive early in the count. There's another leadoff single to get him going. To the plate now, Kevin Biggio. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Here comes the 1 0. Ball 2. 2 0. Two balls and a strike now. Dickerson aboard here at first with nobody out. That's ball. 3 and 1. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Line drive snagged on a short hop. There's Merrifield on to first, and they get them both. Boy, and that's a great play there at short. He's forced to go to the backhand and then pivot on that right leg to throw against the momentum of his body. These guys make it look easy. That's one you can definitely launch into right field if you're not under control. Into the box, Bo Bichette. Now a line drive caught down there at third. Pretty much right in the glove that time, and the inning is over. Trevor Richards gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seven. Number 33, Trevor Richards. Last half of the seventh here, and striding forward the designated hitter, Nicky Lopez. Nicky Lopez. He's set, here it comes. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. You know, a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball, 0-0, center cut. Didn't even give the impression he was swinging. Now the 0 1. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at 1. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Put that in a memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. Cue shot here out towards short. 
And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Man, he got the front foot down right there, kept the front shoulder top. He was able to Number stay inside 16. that ball for a soft liner Whoa. in the center field. Jackson. Blake now, Bo Jackson, and he fouls this one off. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Good breaking ball, and it's in there. Two and two now. He's certainly pushing the throttle and pulling it with those four pitches. Statistics class tells me I'm sitting fast. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. It's always nice to keep a the guy that has good wheels off base. Second base that's man. just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep Barrett that guy off the base path. Tim LaCastro will come on Pinch now and lead. pinch run here. Number 33, Tim LaCastro. With Merrifield next to hit as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. And here's a fastball in for strike one. 91 miles an hour that time. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Now the one and one pitch. Oh, Runners on the move for second. That's a strike to throw down. He is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Breaking ball. Called third strike as that catches the zone for route number two. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Those are the times you really want to see a guy battle and at least put the ball in play. In now, Carlos Santana. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. I love a well executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair, and you could have some problems. Fouled away. Fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Fastball just missed above the zone. Wow, these guys are really grinding out their bats of this one. They're not making any outs easy to get, and that, of course, is having a huge impact on the pitch count. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Up with it, McGuire. And that ends the inning. Royals leave one. Still a two-run deficit. It's five to three. 
And now in the box, Santiago Espinal. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. Santiago Number 28 gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. Number 28. Now here's the first offering. As it's grounded sharply to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Still anyone's ball game. 5-3 is our score as we take a look now at the starter comparison to see how these two guys fared in the matchup. So now here is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He scored after knocking a single in his last at bat. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Bases are empty, one man out. Drilled to the right side, and that is going to sneak on through into right. It's a one out single. Hey, Dan, this guy's having a monster series on the road. Were you aware of the home road splits? I think every player is, and sometimes it's a matter of being either comfortable on the mound or comfortable in a batter's box in some visiting ballparks, and some guys, quite frankly, like it better on the road than they do at home. George Springer the next to hit, and he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball 1-0. The Royals entered the day looking to wrap up a big series sweep but it's going to take some late game heroics in order to make that a reality. Never easy to sweep any team but this is a close one and there's an old saying in baseball a bloop and a blast and if they can stay close get a base hit get somebody to hit one out of the ballpark they're not out of this one yet. And for the opposition wrapping this up and salvaging a win would at least make their trip out of here a little more pleasant. This could be just what the doctor ordered. Nobody likes to get swept on the road, so winning this one could be big for building back team morale. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Jackson is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now back, left fielder, Nordis. Guriel. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that brings up the exciting Lourdes Guriel Jr. From the stretch. Aye. Here's the 0 1 down the left field line and deep. But this will wind up being a foul ball. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Here it comes on nothing and two. Hit in the air down the right field line. On the run is Benintendi. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. One left for Toronto. As they hang on to their 5 3 lead. There's a strange wind blowing. Yimmy Garcia is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 93, Yimmy Garcia. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Andrew Benintendi. Yeah, Matt, going back to that last at bat when he hit the rubber, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone, so if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. The 0 1 pitch. Nope. 
Left side, but well foul. And that's lifted the other way out to left. And Bichette settles under it. There's one away. The catcher, number 13, Salvador Perez. Next, it'll be Salvador Perez. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch on the way. Yeah, that looked like an auto take right there, just trying to measure up this pitcher stuff. One out, nobody on. This is foul right side. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. A ball and two strikes. The one two is looked at for ball number two. Pitch taken several inches below the zone in fact. Not what you want to do on the mound go from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2 but credit the man in the box for being patient even with two strikes. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Well, we've the seen some really good pitching nine. from these guys on this one. The bullpen has looked sharp Yamashita. and it backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. So now to the plate Yogi Yamashita fastball and oh he has to bend out of the way of that one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And this one's over for a high strike one and one. Hey this is a huge out right here two outs in the eighth inning if this guy comes in and does his job they hand it over to that beast in the ninth two and one to the Royals first baseman. Hey there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. Hitters count now here's the two and one there's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. As we take a look no, at this one, you can see three. he puts a good swing on it. But I don't think he got her just enough no, to put no. some backspin to get it out of here. But hard to complain about a well hit double, though. Next, it'll be Jonathan Daza. And Dan, what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound? Well, I think they have to go right after him. He's pretty unlikely to take the deep, but if you allow him to get on base, the chances of him scoring and tying this game become a lot greater. First pitch coming, here it is. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Swing and a miss, and I don't think he was expecting a pitch inside. It's one and one. Hey, hats off to the pitching staff right here. They've been able to hold a hot hitter in check in game four of this series. A line 
That's a base hit in the left field. The throw to the plate. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Royals settle for just the one. We've played eight full. Toronto leads this one five to four. Guerrero enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Number 59. Standing in now, Reese McGuire. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. Guerrero is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty V, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls. And that could cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. The 1-1. One, one. Fouled off again, and now he's in a 1-2 and two hole. Now here it comes. Swing and a foul tip, but that's held onto behind the plate. It's a strikeout for out number one. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese, swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Here's Randall Gritchick. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The one and oh delivery. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Nope. Just a That's bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. Yeah. That's on the outer edge, 3-1. and one. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3-0 and turn to the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball. The 3 1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Waiting on it is Ben Intendi. Two down. Now batting. Right fielder. Corey Dickerson. Next to bat for Toronto, Corey Dickerson singled in his last at bat. First pitch of the A.B. now. I'm sure every pitcher on the staff could use an extra run right here. I know the bases are empty and there's two outs, but stay on the attack. Get a guy on first base. You never know. You get something going and string a few across. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Daza gets there for the catch and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. They lead it five to four. Your Brad Hand please. is the man called now, on to close this one and earn a save Number in the night. 52, Brad Hand. Adalberto Mondesi will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the play here. Number 27. And now a pitch on the way. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. Mm -hmm. 
That evens it up one and one. A swing and a ground ball to third. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. And that was a no doubles defense in action right there, and it paid off big time. That ball was scorched, but the third baseman was guarding the line more than usual to prevent an extra base hit, and it ended up being pretty much right at him. That's good stuff. At the plate, Tim LaCastro. Yes, he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. Popped up. Espinal is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. Back to the rhythm. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Into the box now, Bo Jackson. As he'll take a look at a sinker here, too low for ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Here it comes, 1-0. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Swung underneath that pitch, so he was either trying to elevate the ball or he was expecting a pitch to be a sinker and drop more than it did. Here's the 1-1 one one pitch. Oh, that's up there. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Driven nicely into the gap. Round first, digging for two. And hold all tickets now as the tying run gets into scoring position with a two-out double. 15. Everyone Second knows there are no awards for Switch. successfully getting 26 outs. You need to get all 27 before you can start celebrating. That two-out double here tonight, putting the equalizer on at second base. A couple of minutes ago, this thing looked like it might be over, but everything can change with one swing of the bat. Now with the plate is Whit Merrifield. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much, 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make a man. Well, when your team really needs you, like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. And she'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. Hey, this offense has this closer in trouble right here. They have to find a way to keep applying pressure. I don't know, everybody top step in the dugout. Get on this guy and make him nervous. Behind 0-2 now. KC down to their final strike in this one. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Grounded back up the middle. Throw in time, and the ball game is over. Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. A one run finish today, five to four, the final score. The Jays took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Jose Barrios earns the win, his second. Brad Hand earns the save out of the bullpen, his fourth of the season. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan 